Okay. Stay chained up. Check the waveforms. This is all that's happening. And this is all real time. So stop. Play. Like so. Zoom in. Zoom out. View whatever I need to view. Current cues. So on and so forth. Get onto status. Shows me all. There's on the mixer. Like that. Whatever I, whatever I adjust. Even the master know I can see what's going on. But that only shows me the status. I don't have the ability to control at that page. And plus I'm also in live mode. So if I go to device control, function not available, I won't be able to change certain things unless if I turn off live mode, it gives me that. So if I do that go on air, what I can do is if I look at this waveform here, I can pause, play, skip through, like so, go to the next track, I'm not able to load, only go forward and back and skip. You can also see on air, if I turn that down, it's off air, on air. Okay, this is where you can do the sound check. So this has actually got to be enabled, so I've got to press and hold to get to utility. Go down to sound check, hit tab, and now I can remote control the sound check. Yep. Get out of that. Now as far as remote controlling certain parameters, so all the all the mixer settings can be edited on this screen, like so, but if you want to remote control it do it via here which you need to um, disable live mode so I can adjust certain settings on the DDJ 3000 like what like what you can do when you go to utility all right so on and so forth so LCD brightness language all that kind of thing output attenuation so directly from the CDJ3000, got the ability to do that. On the mixer, just give it a, got to give it a while for it to load. And mind you, all this is still playing. And this appears. So if I press and if I go to master out, for example, see these settings, I can change them remotely. So if I go 12, 12 okay and changed and you can see it there all right so it's nothing nothing you can't do with uh, the settings here you can just be, simply be remote controlled from who we in the venue if I go folder I can create a new file new settings so I can recall them if albeit a different venue or just save settings in case anything happens. All right, <clears throat> this shows me info, firmware, IP addresses, and okay, application settings, user type, user ID, buffer size, that's for latency, language if you want to purchase it. This is like currently on a trial at the moment. Okay, so you see that's off air because of the crossfader. Boom. Okay. And I believe I believe that is it. Go through the N9 settings. So, master out. 
just analog out, that's digital master out. You can change your sample rate, the booth out attenuation and other further settings, limit on the mic to the master and also the mic to the booth. Um, and also if you want to lock those settings down as well. So you can clearly see that you can have control of up to six CDJs. Given that you've plugged in a um, DJM V10, you can obviously control all six um, of those devices. But then again, you don't have control of the V10 because this is only capable with the A9. All right, and there is it.